aside from that fight where Kirito turned into Gleam Eyes and basically just started throwing hands in those people, I think the most important thing that's going to happen in today's episode is... Meeting of all the races, right? And we're talking about the future plans for climbing the world tree and whatnot, because at the end of the day, that is the ultimate goal. And basically, after we enter the new town, after becoming Gleam Eyes, we have to go back and do a little side quest. But I'm sure this side quest is important, right? Let's begin today's reaction. Monkeys fell down. They try to chase after us. <laughs> so worth it. Trading lifespan for like saving five minutes. Great. We make it on time? Probably arrive like the late and become like heroes that shows up late. The blazing general. Probably the salamander side. Nah, we'll probably show up at the very end and save them. And then, like, maybe we can use them to help us fucking climb up the world tree. Salamander! Kate Sith is basically just cat girls, right? They're just cat people. No, 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 we don't give up. You, let's get serious. You can't do that. <laughs> Ooh! Riz! They're just floating there. Menacingly! What the fuck is that design on their head? Dude, what is that? Look at their helmet. I just realized, like, is that supposed to be their eyes? This looks like cat eyes. It just looks fucking dumb here. I don't know. The Salamander has that's kind of dumb. But you know what design looks really cool? This girl right over here. This girl's elf ear little, uh, what do you even call it? It's just a nice touch. It's just the top half of the fucking ear just the covers on it. It's basically like earrings for elf, right? This is a really nice design. Kirito? It's him! Soho! Kayo Hike! Oh. Save your ass! Our fate lies in his hands. Who is he? A character that just part started playing this fucking game, this new game, like a day ago. Isn't that crazy? People have been grinding this game while Kirito was just like fucking around outside and then he just joined and now because you know we have the SAO data that fucking copies over out so it's like we're just a, just we're just a fucking you know we're cracked but it's like oh all of a sudden the fate of our fucking hit lives lies in the, ha in the hands of this character who's been playing this game for a fucking day he's a beater <laughs> <laughs> the roleplay, dude. <laughs> Filthy Spree Gun. <laughs> Reward for your bravery. Leafa looks shocked. <laughs> no, Kirito figured that out by himself. Did we, is he bluffing right now? Undin Spree Gun Alliance? Is he bluffing? I forget. Is he just being Giga Brain right now? Oh. I think he is being Giga Brain. Humble equipment. Yeah, we have like level one gear or some shit. I don't know. All right, all right. Thirty seconds survive. Yeah, what about it? Demon Sword Graham. Wait, you gotta have a wielding skill level 950? But doesn't Kirito already have like base like stats of like 900, 950, like 1000 the entire time? Also, Demon Sword Gram. Where have you heard the Sword Gram before? Konosuba, Mitsurugi Kyoya. Remember him? Didn't Aqua, this is sort of so off topic. Didn't Aqua give Mitsurugi Kyoya, you know, the, the Sword Gram? But it's a Demon Sword Gram. I thought it's like a Holy Sword Gram. In Konosuba, is it also a Demon Sword? Interesting. And then remember, we just fucking stole it, then we sold it. 
It's gone now. Did he get it back? I forget. No way, it's Eugene? There's so much lore. Wow. Okay, so Eugene is the strongest player in the game. Alright. Why the fuck would you name your character Eugene? Like, like, I'm not trying to disrespect on people that's actually named Eugene. That's your name, right? You didn't decide that. Your parents named you that. But let's get real. Eugene doesn't really sound like a very aesthetically pleasing name. And on top of that, you're playing a video game where you can name your character like Kirito, Lifa. And this dude named himself Eugene. No wonder he's so fucking upset and angry all the time. That's a cheap move. He waited for that. A thrill spirit. The sword did phase through. It did. Why doesn't it work here? Why 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 can't he just like phase through here and just like <laughs> That is busted. If you survive for 30 seconds, then I, Eugene, will acknowledge you as an ambassador. Bro, it's been 30 seconds! Sorry, I'm just gonna kill you. <laughs> Alright, sir. Kirito can do it. He's a beater. Looking pretty bad though. And goddamn, the soundtrack is so good. Okay, massive smoke bomb. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you? No, 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 no. I, I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> For just a fraction of a second, I'll be taking this. Boom. Leave my ass for no reason. <laughs> Wait, I gotta be careful. You're gonna, you're gonna fucking clip. You're gonna, you're gonna fucking clip me a five star fucking coffee in that. But she, she, on top of the fucking ass flap, it's like <laughs> we can't do a wield, right? <laughs> Starburst stream, Starburst stream, come on. Where'd he go? Party member. Rest in peace, Sachi. Where is he? Where is he? He's falling! He's falling! Swordland! Ooh. Whenever this soundtrack starts playing. He's dual wielding how? Am I crazy? Am I? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, unique skill dual wield was gone when we adapted to Alpha I'm Online, but didn't they make a comment about, oh, I can't dual wield anymore? Am I crazy? You can always dual wield and it's not a unique skill? <laughs> Ooh! Double pierced! Fuck you, Eugene! So dumb. Yo! They're not actually dead, but goddamn! Shit! <laughs> this kid's been only playing for what, one day? <laughs> nice fight! Damn, he's good! Can't top that, brother! Kirito has now earned the respect, and yeah, I, I just see that. I wasn't gonna say anything, but look at the jiggle. Boing, boing, boing. Three separate jiggles as she went like that, bro. Wow, Kirito, you're so cool. How did you wield two swords? Wow. <sighs> More setup for disappointment when Lifa falls more in love with Kirito and then she realizes, oh shit, that's my big brother.
bad. This is bad. <laughs> Fuck you, Eugene. Gonna act like you didn't do nothing? Alright, he's the strongest player out of fucking nowhere. The world's larger than I thought. The roleplay in this guy, Yuji. It's fucking a video game. The world's larger than I thought. I can't believe a spree gun has a warrior like you. I love this roleplay server. Jin san, just a little Oh, that's when we first um, fought the Salamanders. Yeah, it was him. His first day playing, he just wiped out everybody. Crazy, huh? Undine, was there? Was there an Undine? What? I thought it's just Leafa was there and Yui was there. What is an Undine? The fuck? He's just lying for us? Why is he lying for us? Is this character perhaps... Wait, 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 wait. It's because he said I would want to fight you. But there's no way this character is Kibao, right? Remember Kibao? From... Uh, uh, Kibao fucking hates us. And Kibao probably would recognize... Could you imagine if this... No. Kibao apparently survived, right? Kibao actually did live at the end of that Seo part one, right? This guy's kind of playing defense for us because... Uh, we beat his ass too hard. Alright, maybe it's Kaiba. They're pretty intimidated by the Undines. Ah, we're probably not gonna have that duel, right? They're all brothers all of a sudden, bro. Reasonable? Reasonable? Bro, we had a fucking uh, we had a fucking 30 second duel. If you survive, he, he, he says you're an ambassador. Then he said, nah, I'm gonna just kill you because I feel like it. And then you had to fucking beat his ass with Swordland playing for him to be like, okay, I acknowledge it. Reasonable? That's right. Sigurd is basically Potimas in this show. That's right. Thirst for power in the video game world. No. So like, what 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 are these girls doing? Like, these are actual th these aren't NPCs, right? These are actual sylphs. So these sylphs are like every day logging into the game to like be Sigurd's like strippers. Like like what what do they do? That's their life. <laughs> Sigurd's Discord kittens ain't no way. <laughs> V5 update? Wait, Alfheim Online 5.0 update? Oh, changing races because self suck and they think that Salamander has all the power. Potimus. Why are the comically evil people always fucking doing this? Like Clayman too, right? They always got a fucking wine glass doing this shit. So <laughs> he spilled that. He spilled the glass there, by the way. He slipped there. He's like, how? As in, how did you survive? But it's like, oh, wait. Eugene. <laughs> Eugene. Leafa. <laughs> Leafa. So racist, dude. Incompetent lizards, salamanders. <laughs> oh? You have notification from your leader starting to rev uh, right, revoke your rights to self and ban. Oh, even banish, banished. Okay. You're fired, Sigurd. Get out of here. What are you gonna do? Fucking attack a mirror, bro? What are you gonna do? You're fired. I'm a beater. It's a lie. It was a lie. Bluff. 
And the fact that the salamander, the guy, the other salamander vouch for us kind of is like kind of huge, huh? Why does she show her armpits all the time? Because she's a lolly. Yeah, you're going to do lolly fan service, right? You got to show the toes in the armpit. When I'm dealt a bad hand, I like to raise the stakes for starters. I feel like this is the worst possible advice or strategy you could ever have, right? This assumes that, like, you're just bluffing always, so, like, if you get a dealt a shitty hand, let's just go fucking all out. Well, maybe it would work, like, sometimes, but, like, goddamn, that's a fucking bad strategy. We're a beater. <laughs> Lifa, you watching this? Lifa, your brother is getting seduced by a cat girl. Oh, oh not you too, Sakuya. What the fuck? Yo, I'm going with the MILF. I'm going with the MILF, girl. Oh. Yo, these girls are fucking, you know, they're really weaponizing their bust, huh? You used it first! You fucking breast your cat girl lolly titties on me! What do you mean? Okay, I thought the hand was a little bit lower. I'm like, holy shit, where was the fucking hand placement on Lu's side? <laughs> Kirito, just forming a harm, as usual. Big brother that I love that I don't know yet. This is gonna be a disaster. My what? What, what is he, huh? What? That's why you're gonna get cucked later, Lifa. <laughs> Bring him along. It's specifically him. Girls in this game just, just fucking this show. They all just fall so easily for Kirito, man. Mm. Okay, Sylph and Keise. Maybe they can work together and help us. Maybe the Salamites can show up too. They seem to have mutual respect for Kirito now. Cause Asuna's getting married in a comatose place in like six days or some shit, right? No, it's Titania. How many episodes is that gonna take? God damn it. <laughs> the fuck? We're gonna save them? Then we're gonna fucking give them money? Where to get all that? It's gotta be from the previous SAO data, right? Part 1 stuff? Nani. Alright, sunset lighting along with Leafa. We gonna get some romantic development or what? Mm. When did he cheat? What? There are some titties all over us. What do you mean? The fucking way to do Yui? <laughs> so like uh you consider the other new girls a threat but am i fine yui yeah you're fine kirito doesn't give a fuck about you his dick remains remains fucking limp when he's around you because you're a little sister gee i wonder why friend zoned <laughs> what does she seem like then Easy to get along with. Did she just get bro zoned? <laughs> this is so cruel. This is so fucking cruel. Like, we already know that she's gonna fucking lose and get cucked by Asuna at the end. And, like, the fact that she's getting brother zoned and, like, bro zoned. And the fact that she doesn't even realize yet that, like, like the guy that, like, is gonna cuck you and, like, and bro zoned you is your older brother. Like, this is, like, the perfect storm that is in the making right now. I feel bad for this girl. Why the fuck did the SAO author do Kito's sister this dirty? What did she do to you, bro? Ooh, Asna. Password. We know the password locks, right? Yeah. We memorized it. What if Oberon changed the fucking passcode, though? 
I, I, is it gonna be that easy? Is she just gonna be able to fucking escape? Like, I, I, I don't know about man. All right, does she remember it properly? Oh, wait! The fuck? We don't even need to save her. She's just gonna jump down? She might not have to jump down. There's a lot of like tree vines and stuff. And that's the episode. Today's episode was pretty hype. We had a pretty cool fight. Much better fight than the quote unquote gleam eyes versus the salamanders. But hey, this, this fight was pretty cool. It was kind of funny, right? Eugene shows up. If you can withstand my attacks for 30 seconds, I'll consider you an ambassador. And what happens when we survive? He's like, ha ha ha, psych bitch, I'm gonna kill you now. And then Kito just realizes. Why don't I just fucking dual wield, huh? And even if this game doesn't have the unique skill dual wield, I'm just assuming that no one really thought about holding another fucking weapon in another hand. And that's what Kirito did, right? This is not Starburst stream. This is nothing insane. It's just like, I'ma just take Leafa's sword and just have like another sword and just like swing both swords at the same time is my understanding of what happened. Anytime you have Swordland playing in the background, that soundtrack, you know, coffee, pasta, it's so hype. And I love it. I love it, even though it's nonsensical at times. And Eugene, I don't know why you named your character Eugene in a game where you could be anything you wanted. You could have been fucking big dick 69, but you called yourself Eugene. It is what it is. He also kind of seems like a friend at the end of the day, right? They might actually come to help us when we needed them the most in the industrial tree in a couple episodes because I doubt the cases and the sylphs are going to be enough to, you know, handle whatever lies in the world tree. And that seems to be it. We're basically friends with other allies, right? Uh, we're getting set up for the world tree and Leafa. Yui just straight up told her, like, Yui's like, yo, Kirito's heart so doki doki, yo, the blood flow is going through to his fucking saber when, you know, the Lu girl and the other girl, you know, is rubbing their titties on him, but why is Leafa fine? Because Kirito does not see Leafa as a girl. She is like a bro. And that's funny, because we are literally her brother. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.